Okay, so this is an introduction to Mahara. Um, I'm in the Languages at Warwick portal, and the Languages at Warwick portal has a built-in ePortfolio tool called Mahara. So I'm going to sign in first of all, and I'm going to show you how you get to Mahara and what you can do within it, and why you would want to go there in the first place. So just logging in first of all. And now when I log in, just get rid of that message, I'm going to scroll down and you can see on the right hand side of my landing page, I've got a link under network servers that says Mahara ePortfolio. Now this link you'll see within courses as well. So you look out for the box that says network servers and ePortfolio. And if we click on that, that will take me into the integrated ePortfolio system. So the look is slightly different from um, your normal course look. And the biggest difference here is that I'm moving from an area which is all about course delivery, which is the Moodle front end of our um, site, into an area that is actually personal to the user. So the ePortfolio Mahara allows you to create and manage your own files, your own groups, and showcase your work to whoever you choose um, through creating web pages and um, ePortfolio pages. So everything you see within here is actually private to you. And anything you create or make will by default be visible only to you. It's really only when you decide to showcase that and share it to others um, that others will see what you're doing. So this is really quite different from the course areas of Moodle where everything is shared with the other participants in your course. Here in Mahara, this is your space. So what can we do with Mahara? Well, by default, I've ended up on the dashboard page of Mahara that shows us the three main functions of the system. First of all, I can use Mahara as a collecting place, a place to tidy away files that belong to me and to um, use them in different ways. So because this system is integrated with Moodle, anything you've submitted um, through Moodle, you will be able to export into your ePortfolio just by clicking a link in Moodle. So that includes forum posts within your courses. It includes assignments that you've, had sub that you've submitted and had returned. Anything that you have put in Moodle will have a link the, that says export to ePortfolio that will enable you then to put it into this area. Also, you can pull in outside files uh, and upload files from outside. You can even create your own CV and resume here, um, and you can create a journal. So there's lots of collection and creation goes on in Mahara. Secondly, you can then organize those files and activities through web pages to make them available if you want to with other people. Um, and there's tools here for very easy creation of web pages. Even if you have never designed a web page before or a website before, I guarantee you'll find it straightforward in Mahara. In the third section, sharing and networking, this allows you to join groups, create your own groups, and network with other people um, inside the system uh, and even outside if you choose to share uh, groups with outside students who are outside the system. So let's just have a, a closer look at the aspects of um, Mahara that may be of interest to you. If I scroll down a little bit on this page, you can see that I've got a stream of content coming through here. This helps me to keep up to date um, with things that I'm already interested in. As a member of Mahara already, I've joined a few groups. I'm following some topics. I've also created some pages. So this stream automatically updates as things happen within the areas that I'm interested in. Um, on the right hand side you can see a list of my groups and I can also just click on a link here to show other people who are online in Mahara if I want to have a conversation with them. So just to um, show you a little bit of the navigation of Mahara, the system is a tabbed navigation. So if you can't find anything, just click on a tab or just hover over a tab in fact and then the list will open up. The content tab relates to that first area of activity. 
So you can see I've got quick links into every aspect of that. Journals is Mahara's way of talking about blogs, your resume, your CV, um, and your profile. You can, all man you can manage all of those in the content tab. The portfolio area relates to that second activity. So here you can, um, again, jump straight into the pages you've made or create new pages. Collections are just collections of pages. Um, sharing settings just enables you to uh, make your pages available to the people you wish to make them available to. And the export tab there, that's a useful one if you, um, towards the end of your time within the Languages at Warwick portal, wish to move your content elsewhere. You can easily export it as HTML or as Leap2 format files. And Finally, the groups tab, so this is the sharing and networking area. Again, you can see there are lots of um, functions here for finding friends, for networking and grouping. Um, the institution membership is quite interesting because um, Mahara is, is used across other institutions, including some businesses. So you might want to move um, your membership into the business who employ you, for example, and just move your um, Mahara area into um, into your work area, so the systems can actually network between themselves. So please do explore Mahara, have a look around, have a play, as I say, everything you create is unique to you and by default private to you, so um, you only you can decide who you share things with. <laughs>